last thing I'm going to do tonight, praise the Lord, at 4, 12 a.m., the sun's about to go up, it's about, the sun's about to take off its little eye covers so that it can start shining. <laughs> I just make myself laugh. <laughs> oh, stuff! I don't want to get the giggles, man. I'm going to go crazy. Uh, I want to read. Um, from Hamlet, the speak the speech I pray you. And the reason why I want to do this is because this is part of our acting class that we're doing in A Noise Within. We were doing scansion and we're doing study of, of, the, of the speech itself and we weren't getting up on stage and doing anything, man. So it's so nice to get a chance to just get up on stage and do it and fuck it up and work on it and hopefully we can you know actually become good at doing this so i'm just literally i'm literally doing just the just the first like uh, 10 10 lines of, of this of this monologue of, but i i'm going to do it over and over again so that, so to show hopefully sh hopefully show some sort of progression that i'm more invested in the in it and that i'm uh, able to deliver it with a little bit more confidence of knowing what's going on to be honest, this first uh, seg segment, um, I sort of see Hamlet as being a prince, and he's literally walking into, it would be like a, a Charles walking into a noise within, and, and the whole company's gathered, and he's giving us this, this speech. He's a royal, you know? It, it's even bigger than that, because Charles can't hurt any of us. But Charles, back in the day, Charles, someone who was like him, could have people killed, you know, for the right reason. He could have them whipped for, for, for looking at him wrong, for not bowing. Have them whipped. So the control this man has over all these people's lives, he needs to be cool about it, even though he wants to see this man who killed his father and sleeping with his mother, he wants to see this guy dead. But he's in control, man. He's the prince, dude. He's not gonna be jittery and all freaking out. This is his moment. He's with the boys. He's decided to speak in prose. He wants to be one of them for a little bit, but he can't. He's the fucking prince, man. He's the prince. So that's where I come from with this. Uh, I would love your opinions. I would love it. So please uh, share with me what you have to say. <sighs> Speak the speech I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it as many of your players do, I had as leaf the town crier spoke my lines. Nor do not saw the air too much with your hands thus, but use all gently, for in the very torrent, tempest, and as I may say, whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that may give it smoothness. Ah, oh, it offends me to the soul to hear a robustious periwig pated fellow tear a passion to tatters the very rags, to split the ears of the groundlings who, for the most part, are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. I would have such a fellow whipped for overdoing Tamagant. It out here it's Herod. I pray you avoid it. That's that for now. We'll continue on as, as the class progresses. Again, speak the speech, I pray. Advice welcomed.